Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play uh, Unbroken from The Last of Us Part 2. Um, I did a version of this ages ago, but um, I only did part of the song, whereas this one is like the whole song, so I'm going to teach you the whole thing. I've done a cover version of it, so if you want to hear what the whole thing sounds like with me playing it, um, go and check that out, I'll leave a link in the description, and hopefully remember to put a card above. Uh, so I'm going to teach you it all today, there's quite a lot to get through. Just before I do teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video. Leave me some comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think of the video and what songs you want me to do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to print the tabs off for this, I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar's in standard tuning uh, and the first line sounds like this. been a bit free with the uh, rhythms on this it's not exactly um, because you've got to play it a bit free form okay so we're starting off bar one play the open D G2 B3 E then E1 so bar one goes into bar two we're playing A3 and then playing the open E string directly underneath it so or straight after it. So you go then B1 and then G. So bar two. So bars one and two. Then bar number three we play A3, G, B1, B3, E. So you go. And then bar four, you're going to play D, G2, and B3, but really quick together. Like that. So the whole of the first line. So you can be really relaxed with the, the timing on that. And that first line repeats. And then we get the next line. The next line sounds like this. So for that we play fret 5 on the A string at the same time as you're going to hit the G2 so quick after each other so then open G D3 then G and then D2 so bar 5 you've got into bar 6 A5 E5 A5 D2 and then D3. So bar six. And bar seven, it's almost the same as bar five, but there's a little trill on it. If you struggle to do the trill, just play exactly the same as bar five and it will work. So you play the A5 and the G2. A little trill by doing hammer on from open G to G and then pulling off back to the G. So. Then D3, G, and D2. So bar seven goes. Then bar eight, you play A1 and D at the same time. Then you go in the next bar, E3, sorry, A3, E3, A3, D2, and then G. So bar number nine. In bar 10, play the A3 and the uh, D3, and then D2, D, then A. So bar 10. Bar 11, we're playing A1 and D at the same time. Bar 12, we've got 
E5 and A3, and then bar 13, we're playing D, G2, and B3. So the whole of that line, we've got to the next line and it starts so for this first little hit here on bar 14 I'm playing the G7 the D7 and then E5 and B6 all in quick succession you could just play it straight down if you wanted to and then you play B8 B6, B8, and B5. So bar 14 goes. And then you're going to play D7, G7, and B6 at the same time. And then play the D7, G7, B5, and B6. So bar 15. Uh, the next bar, bar 16, is the same as the first bar of that line, bar 14, so it goes. And then there's like just some little arpeggios. Um, if you just put your fingers in a diagonal line from E5, B6, G7, and D8. And I'm just like running uh, up like the arpeggios playing the... D G B D G E D G B uh yep D G E D G E D G E D G E So hopefully that makes sense. So bar 17 slowly will be And you can do a bit of slow down. It can be really freeform, it hasn't got to be exactly like that. So So the whole of that line goes to the next line we've got so for that we're playing E3 G5 B3 quick hammer on from B3 to B5 then E3 so you've got Then bar 19, playing D7, G7, B6 at the same time. Then B5, G7, and D7. And then bar 20, we're playing, which is E6, B7, G, uh, D8. And then B5, G5, and D7. And then B6, uh, G7 and D7 in the next bar, bar 21. So you get. And then on my version, I just played some little arpeggios there because there's a bit of a big gap. Um, so I just played E5, B5, and G7 just going up with them. On to the next line. Now, the next line is exactly the same as the first line of music. Um, but I put some little extra arpeggios in them, so I went... So I'm literally just going up E, B and the G strings. And then I'll do the same on the next bit. On that last chord there, um, I just put my finger on E1 to make it a D minor um, chord up the arpeggios. So it's the same idea, you could just play off 
obviously a lot slower. Um, or you can put those arpeggios in, whichever way you prefer. Uh, that line also repeats. And then we get on to the next line, which is, I think, identical to the second line. Uh, let's just have a quick play on it. We've got... So it's almost identical. The only difference is the second, uh, uh, third bar in that line is the same as the first bar. It just doesn't have the trilling. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, on to the next line. Uh, it starts the same as that previous line. We've got. This is where it changes, there's only a slight difference there. So on bar 39, we've got. So it's just the timing that's different, so it plays A3, E3, A3, D2, then open G, and then the next bar's the same, so you play the A3 and the D3, D2, D, open A. So bars 39 and 40 go. And then it changes right here, we've got bar 40, we're playing A1 and D. A little slide from A7 to A5. And then we play A3 and D5 at the same time. And then A3 and D2 at the same time. So let's just play that line for you guys. And then on to the last line, we've got this. Which is playing A3, uh, sorry, A5 and D3, D2, D, A. And then in bar 44, we play A1 and D, slide from A7 to A5, and then E5 and A3 at the same time. And then we play in the next bar, A5 and D3, a little uh, slide from two to three, back to two on the D string, D, A, D, D2, Second last bar is A1 and D. And then the last hit, we've got E5, A3, and D2. So that last line goes. And that's the whole song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, press that notification so you uh, know when I get my new videos up. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought. Let me know that you got all the way to the end of the video because I'll be quite impressed because it's quite a long video. Uh, if it was easy to follow, what songs I should do next. Uh, let me know where in the world you're from. It's really interesting for me to hear you guys around the world watching my videos. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to print the tabs off for this, I'll put it on my Patreon page. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, I've said it as cheaply as possible, but 
It really does help support me, keep me doing these videos. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.